It's one of the East Coast's largest holiday extravaganza, and it's all for a good cause. Jonathan McCall takes us on a tour of the Festival of Trees. Thousands are already flocking to the fairgrounds for the opening day of the Festival of Trees. I got a chance to see what makes this Baltimore tradition so special for so many. Decking the halls with boughs of jolly. We like to say if Santa had a theme park, this would be it. More than 50,000 people are expected to pack into the Maryland State Fairgrounds this weekend for the 28th annual Festival of Trees. This is my first time. I've never been here, and it's it's beautiful. It's just breathtaking. With more than 900 trees, wreaths, and gingerbread houses ready to buy and take home, Meg and I really like this one. The rides, gazes, and gifts bought at this Christmas Wonderland. I wanted a Lego fidget spinner. Will provide another valuable gift to a group of kids who need it most. It is our largest fundraiser of the year. We couldn't have some of our programs without the money that's raised from this event. Money raised from the festival allows the Kennedy Krieger Institute to provide help for thousands of children with physical and developmental disabilities. Organizers say that planning for the Festival of Trees is a year-round event that gets underway in early January. In just a few short weeks, organizers will be getting ready for next year's event. I've enjoyed the rides. For the young and young at heart, they say the magic of the season in this event is what brings them back year after year. You get to come, you get to enjoy the spirit of the holidays, and you're supporting a good cause while you're here. Or for the second time just today. We did the whole thing and then we came back and we were like, I could do it again. Yeah, let's go. Because they're so beautiful. The Festival of Trees runs through Sunday at the Maryland State Fairgrounds. Back to you. And we have more details, including times and ticket prices at WJZ.com.